Okay, here comes the last part in this tutorial where we go over the um, main uh, action script for the avatar chat. And this is where I've made most of the modifications to make this customized avatar chat work. So let's start looking right at the code. I'm going to go, I'm in the avatar chat file, and um, I'm going to go to the um, action script uh, on the chat um, keyframe right here. And the other thing that I want to do is, um, also something that's important I want to point out was that I used some code, okay, from, I'm going to the SmartFox server folder, examples, action script 2, database extension advanced, and I'm going to open up this flash file also. And this is important. Um, I grabbed a lot of the code from this keyframe. Okay, so the first thing I did was this file has a way for you to interact with a database. Um, it teaches you in this lesson, this example file in SmartFox, how to bring in information from a database, but also how to add new information to the database and how to update some tables, some of the fields from the database um, also, and you can update the data, right? So this was, and remove data. So add, update, and remove data from a database. So this tutorial was really helpful for me in learning how to do this whole thing. So what I did was is I copied all of the code from this keyframe, right? So I highlighted all this, right, everything. And I did a control C on the keyboard to copy it all. And then I pasted it all at the bottom of my avatar. I went back to my avatar chat uh, movie, went to the chat keyframe, selected the action script uh, keyframe, and I went to the bottom and I pasted it all at the bottom. And you can see here that at the bottom of my code window here is all of that code pasted because I thought I might need it. And what I did was, and I put here Dan's alteration, and then I put a comment here, right, forward slash, and then an asterisk, and then at the bottom, I put an asterisk and a forward slash to um, comment it out. And that way, uh, when I needed all of this um, code for how to interact with the database, I was able to get it. For instance, this piece right here, send a request to the extension, send a request to the extension, right? Function get data, function, you know, this stuff right here. I needed that um, update record, add record, delete record. I needed all of those functions. So I copied and pasted it. And then I would um, copy and paste it again into this upper part of the code that's not commented out as I needed it. So you can see here that some of the functions that, um, that I used were Let's see here. I'm not even sure. Well, you can see here delete record, add record, update record. Um, let's see here. Get data. All right, let's see if I used some of those. Also, this one, SmartFox on extension response function. This one right here. This one I think I used pretty majorly. So we'll take a look here. And. And that's it, I think, for the most part. So if we go up here to um, the bottom of my code window, you'll see here there's function close connection, SmartFox disconnect. Okay, this function. I'm not sure if that's in the original avatar chat or not, but you'll see there it is. But then here, this one, update record, right? And then add record here and get data. These were all added from the advanced database um, the advanced database movie uh, let's see here where is it advanced pro db extension advanced fla the code from the chat frame so i added that code here get data and then there's more i also added and then i modified it too then this big long one here is um I'll put a new line in here for spacing. SmartFox.OnExtensionResponse. This is a big one. I copied that one also from the um, 
Pro Database um, Extension Advanced FLA. Okay, and I think that's about it. Then the rest of the code is from the avatars, which I then modified. And I'm going to go through it line by line and talk about some of the modifications um, that I did. So we're on the chat keyframe and we're starting to look at the code. And right off the bat, you can see here var extension name string equals database test advanced to. This is um, the zone right in the config file that I'm going to be using. The extension name database test advanced to is um, the name that I put in the config file. Um, let's see if we have that up still here. Um, maybe we don't. Um, config.xml. There we go. And we'll look to zones. Extension name, database test advanced to, class name, and then it tells you the file of my extension that I'm using for uh, this. So this is in the zone database zone. This is in the config.xml file, which is in the server folder inside SmartFox. So right off the bat, I give it the zone, right? And I'll just put here, this is the um, zone name in config.xml in uh, server okay that might help alright and then this stuff right here um, button add event listener click add record update record delete record this came from the um, the database uh, advanced database file but you know what I don't even think I need these so I'm gonna delete these I didn't end up using them so I'll just delete them. I don't even need them. All right. Then some of this stuff here is all stuff from the avatar chat file. Right? And this is all stuff from the avatar chat file. Nothing new here. Nothing new here. Um, I might have to put word wrap on eventually so that you guys can see all the code. But for right now, I'll just leave it as is. This is all good. Nothing new here. All right, on room list update, right? Okay. Good, good, good. Nothing, nothing, nothing. This is all stuff that SmartFox is using when you join a room or if there's a new person in the room, then this handler will be called on room list update, right? So these are different things that happen. These are different events that happen in the SmartFox server and they've written it to work. So most of the time I don't need to change these things because they're they're working on their own. But here um, I did some uh, modifications on this function right here. SmartFox on join room. So this function is called when um, uh, when when you join the room, right? So when you enter a room and you hit the multi-user server and um, you basically log in, right? I've added a line right here, smartfox.send extension message. Okay, so this is going to send a message to the extension. It's going to call another function, right? This is a call function call right here, send xt message, and then extension name, and then the um, what I'm going to call is I'm going to send it the get data uh, message here, the get data message and it's going to be formatted in um, XML. Okay, it's going to be an XML extension message. Now this is um, basically going to talk to the server-side script. This is from the database. This type of call is from the database, advanced database uh, file. So SmartFox send XT message, extension name, get data. Okay, so that's going to go and talk to the server-side script, get data. Now if we go look at the server-side script, 